Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'm going to be demonstrating our brand new plugin for Figma. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. So I'm going to jump right in. Now you can see that the plugin is very similar to our previous versions. And what you're able to do is you're able to navigate within your actual uh, XD content to see various layers. So you can actually select any content. It will give you all the information listed for that layer. Uh, we can easily change the environment that we'd like. So you can see here that the plugin works uh, pretty much the exact same. So we do have the option to customize. So we have a lot of languages that we support within the plugin. You can simply select it to change. Uh, but we also have a few options that are very important for your design because they will affect how your design is rendered. Uh, one of them being overflow. We're going to disable this so that for the purpose of this video, what we're going to get is we're going to get the content looking uh, virtually exactly the same as each frame. Now, there are, like I said, there are different options that we can use. Now, before we export, you're going to notice something very different about this particular frame. And what we've done is that we actually disabled clip content. This is important because Figma itself, when rendering images, if we were to clip the content, it will not render uh, images beyond the clipping. So what we want to do is just ensure clip content is disabled. Now once the export is complete, what it'll do is it'll give you a zip file uh, based on your actual project name. Now what we have to do is simply extract the files. Now you'll see it does provide us with all the files including our skins uh, from our project and it also includes a single CSS file uh, for the entire project so that way it's easily cached. And we can now navigate the individual content to test uh, our actual exports. You can see here that everything renders virtually exactly the same as each frame. Let's go ahead and let's test a few. And this is full HTML, so you can see we can select all individual elements. 